chump block, so he may not attack. Okay. Our opponent's handless. If they attack, that's gonna suck. He's not gonna attack. And he does. Well, this is what happens <laughs> when you attack, buddy. Bye bye. Bye bye to your 7 7. <laughs> oh, he quit. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Black Hammer, once again. Before we get started, like always, like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go ahead, leave a comment down below saying what's up. I would greatly appreciate it. And we have reached our 500 subscriber challenge goal that I had set like a month ago. You guys are amazing. If you guys watch my videos and you guys conversate with me, you guys are amazing. So I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And on February 10th, I will be doing a uh, box opening of the new set, Kaldheim, on the 10th and announcing the winner of this giveaway challenge. So make sure you're subscribed, you got the bell on so you don't miss that video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the build of today. Let's go. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is my Kaya's Legends build. This is black, white, Ors, Hav, or whatever that word is. I'm pretty sure you guys will correct me, but this is my take on it. And let's start with uh, Kaya the Planeswalker so you can kind of get an idea on why I pick so many legendary creatures. I'm pretty sure that's the first um, thing that you guys probably noticed. But let's go ahead and look at the Planeswalker here. It's a five drop legendary Planeswalker, obviously. Um, it comes with five loyalty, so that's pretty daggone decent. So the plus one ability is put a ghost form counter on up to one target non-token creature. It gains whenever this creature dies or it is put into exile, which is very important. Return this, uh, return it to its owner's hand and create a one-one white spirit creature token with flying. So that no that one ability is amazing. Not only will it um, protect your creatures from dying or exile or graveyard or whatever but it also leaves a, a extra body and it doesn't have to be anything spectacular a one one with flying sometimes is all that you need so that plus one is probably uh really amazing especially for a five drop normally you would see something like this on like a six drop you know but that's pretty daggone good so the minus three is exile target non-land permanent so this is planeswalkers enchantments artifacts uh creatures obviously um pretty much anything besides land um and then the important part let's scroll down here minus seven so you play this on turn five and you just wait two turns without kaya dying and you're pretty good it says you get an emblem with at the beginning of your upkeep you uh you may cast a legendary spell from your hand from your graveyard or among cards you own in exile without paying its mana cost so when i read that i was like bro i already got somewhat of a build that's perfect for this i just made a few adjustments and we're good so let's go ahead and get into the nine creatures here we have dire tactics uh tactics it's a black white so be careful with your mana instant speed and it says exile target creature if you don't control a human you lose life equal to that creature's toughness so make sure you have a human which we have nothing but humans besides this guy so it's not a human tribal it's not a warrior's tribal um so let's let's just get that straight but uh we got four copies of that and especially with all the crazy nonsense that's happening in standard which is exciting um exiling a creature is really important unless your opponent has kaya then i guess you're kind of screwed at that point then we got three copies of shatter the sky and yes you're probably thinking well you're gonna kill your own creatures well don't worry i got an answer for that so let's get into our two drop creatures we have best best car shield mate i'm i don't know if that's how you say that either now uh, it's a two drop you guys probably laugh at this card think it's nothing but i think this fits this build perfectly 
Um, it's a 2-1 body, and it says, When this creature dies, create a 1-1 white human warrior creature token. So its only job is to chump block. And then after you chump block, you get a token. And with Kaya, her plus one ability on this, not only do you get your creature back, you get two tokens. So, I mean, that's already a lot of bang for your buck right there. So an amazing two drop if you do have Kaya on the battlefield. Then of course, we have Aspirin because, I mean, it's a human which helps in this build and it just makes other threats bigger threats each turn so you you gotta add a couple of these if you're trying to make bigger creatures even bigger then we got four copies of general's enforcer it's a black white so once again careful with the mana uh two three body so it's pretty decent and it says legendary humans you control half indestructible that is the key part of this whole entire build now the rest of this text is is relevant you pay for exile a card from a graveyard so it can be your opponents especially if they're running proxy or anything similar to that uh if it was a creature card create a one one white human soldier creature token so you're probably saying hey mr black hammer why are you playing with so many human tokens what is the benefit well of course we're running general kudro of danareth <laughs> Danareth. Yeah, that one place on the map. Uh, it's a three drop legendary creature which fits in with everything. Um, three three body. It's decent. It, it could have been better. But it says other humans you control get plus one plus one. So all, all of our tokens, all of our main creatures um, get a boost. And it says whenever general um, or another human enters the battlefield under your control, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. You can also pay to sacrifice two humans, destroy target creature with power four or greater. So not only that you can deal with those big creatures, every time a human or a human token enters the battlefield, you can exile cards from um, your opponent's graveyard. And like I said, with standard today, or at least this first couple of weeks, there's gonna be a lot of shenanigans going on you know a lot of knee slapper things you know what i'm saying so getting rid of the graveyard is sometimes half the battle there then of course we got three copies of sigrid not cigarette sigrid god's favor three drop double white legendary creature which is beautiful it is indestructible with mr enforcer here first strike flash two two protection from god creatures and when it enters the battlefield, exile up to one target attacking or blocking creature until Sigrid leaves the battlefield. I think the most important text on this card is First Strike, especially with um, uh, Death Touch. Man, I swear to you not, bro. Every other game seems to be Death Touch. So First Strike, indestructible, is beautiful. Then on a four drops, we have Man Mangara, the Diplomat. Four drop, legendary creature. Whenever an opponent attacks with, um, whenever an opponent attacks with creatures, if two or more of those creatures are attacking, you and your uh, planeswalkers you control draw a card. They could have worded that way better. So, um, this, this just pays off when your opponent's being extremely aggressive. Once again, with death touch or any aggro build um, especially with uh warriors that's a big thing now whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn draw a card so this really punishes your opponent for being aggressive uh just throwing up their hand on the battlefield you'll be drawing cards like crazy trust me then we got two copies of kenrith the returned king only two copies only two copies because it does share the same slot with Kaya, so I didn't want to kind of freeze this up way, way too much. But we all know Kenrith. We're running black, white, so the only relevant uh, abilities is target player gains five life, which helps. And then you can pay five target creature, uh, put target creature from a graveyard onto the battlefield under its owner's control. I actually never really read it like that. So you can put your opponent's creature on their side. That's weird. I don't know why they would put that. Come on now. Anyway, um, 
so only two copies if you get this cool if you don't i think the rest of this should be able to do the uh do its thing and this was uh this one right here was a last minute ad and it kind of worked once i played it my opponents kind of quit so i never really got to full effect play this but i think it kind of benefits with everything that we're playing six drop uh atheros shroud veiled <laughs> he's a four seven legendary uh creature god indestructible and it says as long as your devotion to white and black is less than seven um this card isn't a creature at the beginning of your instep put a coin counter on another target creature so it's your creatures or your opponents whenever a creature with a coin counter on it dies or is put into exile return that card to the battlefield under your control so this is like an extension of kaya's abilities here especially her first or her plus one ability so i mean this kind of is a backup like a backup quarterback just in case because you know your opponent is going to kill kaya as soon as you play it so the only thing special with the lands we are running 26 lands want to make sure we at least get to four or five drops without struggling um is this one here i don't know if you can see it this is <clears throat> tyrant sanctum it's a land obviously you can tap it for generic or you can pay to tap target legendary creature becomes a god in addition in addition to its other types put a plus one plus one counter on it once again we have plenty of legendary creatures then there there's more pay for tap sacrifice this land so you can't just keep doing it each turn oh um, because then it'll be broken and it says put a indestructible counter on target god so this is probably really made for the god kind of synergy they got in this set but it really helps with all your legendary creatures go ahead pay two and if you really need to pay four indestructible or you got generals enforcer to make them uh, indestructible but you already know creatures are not going to last on a battlefield that long so this is just backup for the backup sometime this can end the game if you got three four indestructible creatures which i mean we only got three of this so or four we got four copies bro so it's very possible anyway this is the build i've been talking way too much let's get into the gameplay let's go all right this is a good start three lands plenty of creatures this is pretty good go ahead start off with fable passage um yeah i'm i'm a little nervous and and that's the one thing about when you play with so many legendary creatures let's let me go ahead and crack this here um bro if you get like two copies in your hand one of them is just gonna be chilling there i mean unless your opponent kills it obviously um now let's get a planes here um that's just probably one of the most annoying things about this build but hopefully oh nice we got enforcer so we need a swamp let's go ahead and play this here if our opponent decides to go <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just a little impatient man i've been playing with a lot of slow people all day today and they're probably new arena came out on mobile like a couple days ago but still uh it's frustrating <laughs> but i need to learn patience man i need to at least that's what my wife says but let's just encourage our opponent to go <clears throat> but we got a nice curve we got turn three uh ken uh not kenrith uh the general turn four uh diplomat so this is pretty decent okay now we probably won't <laughs> that kind of sucks let's see what they decide to choose I'm going to move this down can't really see my screen all right which one are you gonna choose and he probably yeah kind of figured but it's cool so let's go ahead and play this here play general so now he's indestructible. 
get rid of the only card they had in the graveyard. Swing for three. All right, so now we're here at the races. Now they might have a board wipe. So we got to or a bar white wouldn't really hurt us as much. It's a spot removal. And we're playing angels. That's going to suck. Let's go ahead. Uh, yeah, let's throw this out. And let's swing in. So they can definitely block general, but just, just get some damage in because once they get to four lands, bro, it could get pretty nasty from there. If they decide to block, they may not even block. <laughs> there you go. You can do it, bro. All right. Please miss land. Come on. All right. Tap land. I'll let you get a tap land, bro. We need. I wouldn't mind our own board wipe. Definitely not right now because our opponent only has one creature. But maybe in like two, three turns, a board white would be nice. Because once again, our enforcer, our general enforcer will die. But our legendary creatures right now have indestructible, so they will live. So whatever our... <laughs> Come on. I don't want to have to hit the... Oh, missed it. I'm, I'm going to do it. I would... All right. Thank you. <coughs> Oh, now he's letting it out. Oh, and thank you. We get to draw a card. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right, we got a five lands. Perfect. Um, So as you see, kind of stuck with the creatures. We do have a one drop or a two drop here, but um, let me see. One. Let's go ahead and boost this here. So they can't just chump block us. And we have enough to play shield mate. Uh, let's go ahead and swing in. Gain some life. If they block, it doesn't matter. We're going to do some damage. Somebody's going to get through. <laughs> I just get nervous, bro. Like playing against angels. That's 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 challenging, bro. <laughs> okay. Um... If our opponent doesn't do anything crazy, ah, damn, that's the card I was literally just thinking about. All right, so next turn they could, or not next turn, but a couple turns, it's double strike, and it's no removal. This would have been good for the board wipe. Oh, man, that kind of sucks. Um, Let's see. This is no bueno, amigo. No one's over four power, so I can't activate that. Um, Let's go ahead. <coughs> let's put a... Oh, yeah, can't put on him. Only legendary. Okay. So let's go ahead and put it here. So when they do tap their angels, they only have... <clears throat> they only really have Enforcer. I mean, they could kill Shieldmate, but it wouldn't be worth it. But we'll we'll attack here. Maybe they might block with the Angel. Who knows? I'm just wishful thinking. God <laughs> damn. So double strike. Yeah, uh, eight. 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 damage. Oh, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. All right. Our opponent blocks one. So it will get crazy if they do play more angels. Ah, okay. I mean, sure. I would have gained the life, but. I mean, he really wants that one five, which is cool. I mean, it it stops our creature, so he he did his thing. All right. Oh man. Oh, that sucks. Oh man. That that might be. Oh shoot, that really sucks. Four eight. 
<laughs> a lot of damage. <laughs> you put all those numbers in the calculator, it's a lot of damage. Um. Okay, so he's gonna attack and then tap because it does have vigilance. So that's the one thing. Yep, there goes Enforcer. So my creatures no longer have indestructible. So we need a board wipe, guys. <laughs> no board wipe. All right, let's just throw it. Whatever. Let's put a, let me see. Yeah, let's go ahead. Put indestructible on life. <clears throat> Maybe this will help us keep some life. I don't know. But we need something here. And if we do get a board wipe, because four, and that's eight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. So yeah, I do need to gain a life. Cause that, uh, they have 24 right now. So as long as they don't play no more angels, we are good. We don't need youthful Valkyrie gaining no more counters. Please just attack. Just, just attack. Oh man, he's thinking too hard. Ah, damn. Yeah, that is. Oh, oh man. Oh, now we. Okay, that that would have been helpful a couple turns ago. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, let's go ahead and call that a wrap, man. All right, that's cool. It was our first game, bro. First games usually happen like that. It's cool. Let's go to the next one. Let's go. All right. Good hand. We'll keep it. We got one swamp. That's all we really need. And we do have a lot of double white. So definitely make sure you have planes in hand. Go ahead and play that. Organize this. this uh, it's a cool hand. It's, it's not bad. Oh, now this looks like a mono green. I never see Bruce Almighty like outside of Mono Green. So it we'll we'll see what's going on here. <clears throat> I need to build a, a, a mono green mage level two. I think that'd be dope. Nissan, of course, so there's <laughs> gonna be some big creatures. Big creatures coming soon. We got Kaya. Alright, um we might just wait. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pass turn here. Just to kind of use that flash ability. He might be trying to beef something up. I don't know. Um, okay. Well, I guess not. And we miss our land, so it's cool. Um This just pass. Yeah. All right, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Oh, okay. So he gets his plus one. Go ahead and attack. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and flash in. God favored. Swoop you up, Mr. Almighty. Indestructible, so we'll go ahead and block. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Now, there's our land. Awesome. Let's go ahead and tap that. Thin out this deck. Let's get us a swamp. Uh, let's see. Let's yeah. Let's go ahead and play this out. Swing in. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're good. We we got one indestructible creature. That should be good. Let's see. Let's see what our opponent got for us. Nothing, huh? All right, let's go ahead and play this. Play Kaya. Now, let's see if we can get get our ult here. All right, let's put our insurance on Enforcer just in case. Um, I guess no, no attacks. <laughs> no one can't really get past the three three right now, so that you know, you know how that goes. I could shatter the sky, but. Waiting, okay. I was looking for a 
questing bees. <coughs> Let's go ahead. Plus one. Um. <coughs> Let's put it on favorite here. Don't worry, I got you. Um. Yeah. Yeah, we got the mana. Might as well. Might as well flex a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Show them what we working with. Let's put it on Horn. Let's put it on you, young man. So when you die, you get to come with the winners, bro. I know you tired of mono green, bro. You want to experience other colors. <laughs> Forget this segregation, bro. <laughs> All right. What is... Now, this is... I don't know what... Elder Gagaroth, something, something is going to happen. You're not going to attack. You got something up your sleeve. What are you going to do? So we get to draw a card, but we're tapped out. So, and it's a land. So we're going to double block because he, he got something, bro. I don't know what he's trying to do, but we'll double block here. That's the one with the counters and trample. So let's see. What you got? Okay. Ah. So I'm glad we double blocked because that would have sucked <laughs> a lot. All right, let's go ahead and minus seven. We don't have don't any. We well, us. it's at the beginning, so. We'll see if we pull anything. Let's go ahead, drop shield mate, and swing in. It shouldn't be lethal. Four, six, six. Down, got six mo. We're good. Let's go ahead and put a coin on you. We were running out of creatures to put these coins on, bro. <laughs> All right, there it is, bro. Our opponent probably has some hand issue, mana issue, maybe. I don't know. But all I do know is we won, and that's all that matters. So let's get into the next one. Ooh, it's a, I mean, we do have dire tactics, but three lands, I guess we'll keep it. <laughs> I, I can't, I mean, if we have three lands and at least a turn, oh man. Oh, don't let this be. Uh, I mean, it's meal, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter what I put on top. Oh, this sucks. If it's meal, cool. If it's rogues, that's going to be gross. And, oh, I thought he, <laughs> I thought he was going to attack, bro. Like, damn, bro. Slow down. All right. Uh, let's, let's stop here because we need to kill this crab. So we're gonna stop on our opponents before they draw. So if they wanna counter this, they can counter on their turn and waste their mana. If our opponent wants to do something. Oh yeah, this looks like rogues. He he's about to he's about to flash something, bro. Come on now. Don't be shy. Bring him out. There it is. Alright. We'll go ahead and take that out right now. <laughs> take the crab out. You, young man, I can handle next. No land? Are you landless at the moment? Oh, man. Now, God favor, I think that is a beneficial card. Mm. Ooh, wee, damn. Six power already. Um, God favor, that's really a really good one because it's it's flash and you can snipe out one of their uh, creatures. So, but our opponent has two mana up. I'm a little worried. Just a little. Bit. Ah, all right. Let's go ahead and that's for flash creatures. Let's take you out. Cause I don't want to be getting hit with four because we're losing a lot of life right now. So I don't want to get hit with four. I mean, we're going to get hit with three. Damn. So it's rogues flash. Meal two. There's our board wipe. Congratulations. Down to eight. This ain't looking good. Damn. 
All right, so let's go ahead. Pass turn. <clears throat> Come on, please. Just, I don't know. Oh, okay. So that uses up their mana. I actually don't mind that. That's actually not the worst thing. That is better. I was thinking maybe they can just draw some, a whole bunch of cards, waste their mana that way. But this is probably better. Go ahead, swing in with Soaring Thought Thief. And I will take care of the rest. Awesome. Beautiful. Oh, surprise, mother sucker. <laughs> oh, I know he mad about that one. And I'm going to kill your creature. <laughs> hey, God favor is amazing. Oh, especially in this matchup, bro. That was perfect. Let's go ahead. Um... Let's hope this doesn't get countered. If it is, it's the last card in their hand. Okay. Um, let's do we now or later? I think probably now. Yeah. Let's just get rid of this now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want them to have any other benefits. They don't need nothing else. We're already 30, 33 cards. We got a Kaya in there. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, Let's just throw that at the bottom. Yeah. I mean, it's, it doesn't matter keeping things on top because, you know. <laughs> um, We can exile create a token they have something in their hand I don't like it let's go ahead pass turn I don't I don't need them countering things just to counter so let's just take our time do it right and let's see let's go ahead and yeah let's go ahead and activate this now let's go ahead and take that out <coughs> get us a 1-1 one, one. so they have to deal with the things on the field I'm not gonna let's yeah let's just try this out is it gonna get counter bro oh this this is gonna suck bro no he doesn't all right well you get a land exile all right so now we got a a, a boost for our humans let's go ahead and swing here Uh, yeah, we'll just swing here. Test the waters. Let's just pass turn. We want to test some water. 27 cards left. Oh, man. Our opponent isn't playing anything, so... I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what it means, but, like, I'm, I don't know if I need to be worried. Is it countered? I wouldn't mind if they countered this. I'm a, I'm afraid to play Kinrith. That's the one I don't want them to counter. All right, they're soaring. Soaring of the Thought Thief. And there's no counter. All right. Well, look at me being all scared for no reason, bro. <laughs> um. All right, let's see. Let's... Hmm. Let's here swing in one. Let's see, they have sixteen, so we'll swing with our indestructible. Yeah. If they don't block, we're still doing a lot of damage. Because they can double block my enforcer. Are they really? Um, let's go ahead and throw you first. Do they know that it's indestructible? And first strike? <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, what you looking for in your grave? I seen you over there. Alright, he, he glanced over there. Let's go ahead and take you out right now. 
He might have a Luris. Okay. Well, I, I guess he probably did have a Luris. But that is cool. And like always, our point whenever someone is playing rogues, I have no sympathy for them. Especially when it's just right down to the same card that you'll find online, bro. I have no sympathy whatsoever. So whenever a rogues build loses, an angel gets his wings or something like that. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Let's go. Um, dang it. We got one tap land, Fable Passage. Ah, this is rough, but we'll keep it. Um, let's go ahead and play the thing that comes in tap for sure. Put you in the back. Damn, that really sucks. But we need the land. We need two lands in a row. Oh, Luris. There's Luris. All right, so no land. All right, we're already starting slow. We're already starting slow. That's no bueno. We got Dire Tech. So if we need to keep this just for Luris, that'd be awesome. <clears throat> or a threat that I know they're going to keep continuing to take out with Luris. Ooh, death touch too. Okay. All right, we got third land. Let's go ahead. Pass turn. Maybe this is the the death touch joint. I thought it was the enchantment. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and it might die. Damn it. He ain't got it, bro. He's waiting. So that means he he has something in his hand that's holding up priority. So hopefully it's nothing that's going to hurt us. <laughs> All right, we're going to take your creature. We're going to take it. And Ram through. Okay. I was thinking of a, <clears throat> a heartless act, but I mean that that works too. So this is definitely you know, uh, an aggro-ish death touch crap. That really sucks. All right, so let's go ahead and throw this out. So Shield Man actually does really good with this because I can take out one of their death touch creatures and leave a body behind. So I'm glad we got two of them now. <laughs> I'm actually glad to see this card. Um, I don't know. A board wipe. Not really, not right now. Okay. There's the Thalmir Knight. Another Dire Tactus, but no land. We need the land. I guess we'll just throw this down. Better than nothing. Alright, go ahead and buy Luris. I hope you're messing up on land too. We need some luck right now. We need something. Okay. Hey, I'll take a tap land. <laughs> and we get the scry, so scry another land. Alright, I'll take it. Um, so now we got three. So what do we want to do? I guess we'll pass turn. I'm waiting for the Finn guy. That's the guy we need to make sure we exile, tear up the card throw it across the street type deal with all right so our opponent is drawing cards so they're having mana issue and they found mana. okay all right that was a good a good pull for them all right let's go ahead and crack this thin the deck out a little bit now we we got a nice amount of lands now like let's go ahead and get a swan um, let's let's throw out general. We can get rid of some creatures. Yeah. So good thing they're tapped out. So we at least got to get rid of one creature in the graveyard. 
So Luris is not going to be as effective, especially when if we can keep General down on the field, bro. We're going to tear up this build now. I think we're good. We're in a good position. If I can get uh, the Enforcer. Oh. Uh, who you point at? Right here? Okay, we got you. We were ready for this, buddy. You tricked us the first time. You will not trick us again. Or maybe. Do you got something else? Ooh. <laughs> I, okay, I haven't seen that in a death touch build, but... And he swings. Yeah, might as well take it. Might as well take it. <laughs> no point to block. I'm glad they didn't have Finn. Now, that's a nice little setup. Give your creatures death touch. Or give your creatures uh, indestructible. But didn't have Finn. We'll go ahead and put it here. Because our shield mates are going to die at some point. At least I'm assuming. Like, they may not ever seen combat. <clears throat> so next time we might be able to put out Kaya. As long as they don't put more creatures, bro. Ooh. I don't think so. We got now. Do you have a? No, I guess you don't. I guess you don't, buddy. <laughs> I don't think so. Play. All right. So he has one creature for sure. He can buy Luris, and he does. Uh, more land. So this might be the turn where Kaya comes out. We got to keep things going here. We can take the one damage. This should be a nice break from Let's. We're going to exile someone. Who do we want to exile? Well, how about you? You're the strongest one on their side. That was an easy job. So we exiled it. We have three blockers. So when Luris is played, they don't have not a creature. Not a creature. Um, yeah, I guess it really doesn't matter. We might be blocking with all three. Ooh, sorry about the young. One. Okay. Milling two. Hmm. Is this Luris, huh? Ooh. Oh, there's the fin. Oh, some more. Oh, sweet Jesus. All right. So we need to block. They're swinging at us, which is interesting. I guess we'll block him. I think we'll just take the one. We'll take one, one uh, or two poisons. That's at two. Ah, it would have been nice to put a plus one. But we'll take the one. We get some tokens. Ooh, diplomat. Nice. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and play this out. So if our opponent decides to attack with two or more, we're good. Let's go ahead. Plus here. And maybe if we can get him indestructible, that'd be nice. Um, yeah, let's put it on here. You'll be fine. Trust me. And guess right here. So if they do attack with Finn, I can at least block one of them. Ooh, damn, 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 guys. Oh, this may not be good. Oh man. Alright, so we draw a card. Oh, nice. I don't want to take. I can't take six. Six count. Uh, six poison. So we black here for sure. If I shatter this guy, they're going to die either way. Or I could just save, save that. And. Yeah, but it's going to come back. Diplomat's going to come back. I can take the two, get up to four poisons. Uh, 
more land. Awesome. Thank, thank you guys. Um. Yeah, we'll just go ahead. Plus, aspirant. Don't worry, I got you. Let's go ahead, player land. And do we have enough actually? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I guess yeah, we do have enough. So let's see. Yeah, so we might just shatter the sky first. Get our creatures back to our hand. And then go ahead and play out Diplomat, right? Yeah. We'll go ahead and play that out. Alright, nice. So we got two tokens. Alright, so now this this is a little bit better, but now they got lures, so. Ah man, we need general. We need the general right now. <laughs> oh, he's going to bring it back. I hope he misclicks. Oh, he brings back Finn. Okay. That works for me. Fiend. I, I said Finn. Let's go ahead. Exile Luris. I thought he was going to bring gone. back. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, Let's see. What do we got? Pay two, we'll have enough. Let's go ahead, boost this up here. One, two, three, four. So we have enough for aspirant. Cool. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and put the plus one. Uh, I guess right here. I guess it really doesn't matter. Cause now we got God favored. If he does swing with Fiend, which I'm, I would too. I mean, he doesn't have trample. I do have chump block, so he may not attack. Okay. Our opponent is handless. If they attack, that's gonna suck. He's not gonna attack. And he does. Well, this is what happens <laughs> when you attack, buddy. Bye bye. Bye bye to your 7-7. Seven seven. <laughs> oh, he quit. Why'd you quit, bro? <laughs> bro, why'd you quit? I know, I I mean, I know why he quit it, but I mean, the death touch build is annoying as hell. To me, it's gonna be the new cycle. Everyone's gonna play it. It's really good. I have a build of my own, but once again, bro, like first strike, <laughs> that doesn't look too good for you, buddy. But let's let's go to the next one and see how we do. Let's go. Ooh, this is not good. We have no but it's so it's so pretty though. We have two This might work. If I'm I'm put my bet in that we should hopefully get a swamp we have a lot of swamps bro so and plus we got two 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 white creatures so come on dirty monkey let's show me what you got well don't show me what you got that's it's you can keep it Ooh. okay so we got a lamb but not dang that really sucks um yeah, we'll go ahead and throw this out. <clears throat> All right, let's get a swamp. Let's go. This would be perfect. Give me a swamp. Maybe our opponent's on, say... Oh. Well, there's a snow cover. Oh, <laughs> and there goes our... Okay. Let's throw Aspirant back out. If they want to waste all their removal on Aspirin, I'm actually okay with that because that opens up. All right, they're scrying. Guys, if we don't get a land or a swamp, more importantly, oh, that sucks. All right, swing it for three. Not looking good. That's why that's why I'm not a baby. <laughs> I have 
Oh. All right, so it's looking like a control. Yeah, that's not gonna save. That's only attacking or blocking creatures. Okay. Well, bye bye, aspirant. All right, there's our swamp. Thank you. Let's play general. I guess we'll go ahead and take that out. Why not? Might as well. <clears throat> Our opponent might be playing the the uh, the new guy that everybody. I mean, trust me, I I got that build too, but <laughs> I'm not hating on it. But it looks like it's that discard guy. Oh, nice! He has two extra mana. Hey, nice job, buddy. <laughs> oh, he doesn't use it. Okay. Um, I need a land for Kaya. That actually would help a lot let's throw general out mm, mm -mm. come on they can't have that mean that much removal and we can get rid of banishing light if we really needed to exile target not land okay well i guess <laughs> I guess better that than Kaya. All right, let's. <coughs> or maybe um, just throw this out. Let's let's just throw this out so it can get that indestructible right now. Right now, if if they have a board wipe, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I could have flashed, flashed God a favor in at the end of my opponent's turn, but I don't know. Jeez. He's looking at it. He's reading it. That's good. Now just stay away. So yeah, he's he, he put it together. That gives it indestructible. Nothing in graveyard. He has all my cards on his side. <laughs> Ain't that bad a Come on now. Shatter the sky. So I think he knew that was was happening. So let's go ahead and play Kaya. Let's put a if you want a job done, counter right there. Fine. Trust and we'll go ahead and swing it for two. So our opponent is definitely playing control. So <laughs> I think we figured that part out. Ooh. Okay. I guess we will. Hmm. We can play. Yeah, let's see. Let's go ahead. Minus three here. Because we definitely don't need that stopping us from doing our thing. All right. So, but kind of sucks. I mean, if we get us a land, we can go ahead and play out our six drop here. But <clears throat> let's see. Um, let's take a look here. Our opponent is. Hopefully they, ooh, extinction. But <laughs> we get it back. I don't. I don't think our opponent realized that, which is cool. <laughs> that is good news for us. We'll go ahead and put a ghost counter here. Ghosting feels weird. I know. Yeah, definitely ghosting does feel weird. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and swing for three. I mean, we're doing baby damage, but it it, it starts to add up. It, it will add up, trust me. All right, I think our, we got our opponent down to one card in hand. They kept it. They put it on top, so that's not good. Ooh, Shatter the Sky. All right, so we get two tokens on the field. Let's throw this out. Get four damage on the board, bro. That's how we do it. Let's go ahead. Um, 
let's throw this out. Let's just, just, just for the hell of it. Well, Kaya form or not Kaya form, ghost form. Back on God favor, and I guess we'll just yeah, you can't put on tokens. We we'll just put it there. So <laughs> it got double insurance, bro. We got double insurance, and that might be game, bro. He's about to quit. Ooh, oh, shoot! I was wrong. We'll go ahead and sacrifice. We don't need you killing Kaya. We don't need that kind of problems in our life. <clears throat> But yeah, I think this this just needs seven. So I think we got it. Yeah, seven. Let's go ahead. Play out diplomat. Make that a creature. Put the ghost form on. Let's put it on diplomat. Here. Let me. And let's go ahead and put a counter on diplomat. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and swing in right. Yeah. All right, so our opponent's down to two. And we'll put just for, yeah, yeah, just for good measure, <laughs> just in case we get a troll out of, out of the deal. So I think this is game, bro. Come on, give me the dub. He's trying though. He is trying. Bro, this build is crazy. Bro, this build is nuts, bro. Yeah, we'll go ahead and sacrifice. <laughs> You're gonna need more more damage than more more life than that, buddy. We'll put a ghost form on this one here, why not? <laughs> Bro, this is crazy, bro. Kaya is definitely the champ of this game right here. Man, whew. just bringing everything back from the graveyard to the field, from the exile to the field, from, from the field to the field. Like, oh my God, that was amazing. All right, let's go ahead and play one more and see how we do. Let's go. All right. Decent hand, plenty of lands, two drops, board wipe, Kenrith. I like this. I like this hand a lot. <clears throat> Just waiting for our opponent. But this build has been doing pretty good so far. I mean, we beat rogues. Yay. We beat poison. Yay. <laughs> so... Hopefully we don't have to go against them again. Jeez, it's always a headache, bro. And I mean, I guess we're waiting. Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> so we'll keep the hand. Come on, man. Your go, buddy. I'm recording live, bro. You can't be slowing me down. All right, we'll keep that. So we got enforcers. So we got a strong turn two. All we need is a strong turn three. And bro, we got this. Oh, man. So let's hopefully they don't take. Um, yeah, they're probably going to take Kenrith. Take Kenrith. No, yeah, yeah. Take, take Kenrith. And they took the board wipe. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and play our swamp. And hmm. Let's play shield me just in case if they have removal. Enforcer is safe for the moment. They might have another hand thingy, but. If if they do, bro, this this is not going to be a good game. <laughs> Ooh, Skyclave. Ooh, the cut the strike. Ooh, we can take your Skyclave. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> I guess this is where we wait, right? Uh, no attack. Well, I guess I probably. Damn it, I probably should have attacked. He can't block. I thought he could block. I'm 
too busy thinking about trying to be fancy here. <laughs> I'm too busy trying to impress you guys. Um, so this is a mono. Okay, not mono. So, uh, what's that color? Damn man, I gotta I gotta remember these names. But it's black red. Yeah, you, you see the colors. All right, cool. So we get a one one, which is good. That that helps us. So we can block. I'm pretty sure. Do we? I'll just go ahead and play this here. Take this way because I don't want them to get this back in their hand, and then it's a five for. Yeah, doing too much. Uh, <coughs> let's play this first, and let's get the. I guess white. Yeah, we need double whites for sure. All right, so put our opponent at sixteen. We got two mana open for instant removal. <laughs> Bro, you gotta read the card. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oops, there it is, bro. <laughs> he he paid to. He yeah. Oh buddy, that sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's indestructible, buddy. Should have read it. But it's cool though. I'm pretty sure you got a handful of them. Oh, he's he's gonna Oh, well, I guess that works, too. <laughs> I I guess that works, too. But it's cool. He had to waste two removal on one turn. So I, I still think that's a win for us. Let's go ahead. Let's put a plus one here. Just in case they have a heartless act. Or they could have another blood chiefs. That would suck, too. Which feed the swarm? I mean, that's a good card. I get it. There's a lot of enchantments going on. I get it, bro. I I feel you. Okay. Mill two. Ooh, broken bow, broken bones. Let's go ahead. Get rid of this thing. I, I'm I'm not gonna. I don't want to see that ugly face. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get rid of. I guess broken bow. That's the only thing I can see as really worth anything. Let's go ahead and put it here. Swing just here. So if they want to lose three, all right. Good one. That that was that was a good play. Good black. All right, what you got, please? No more. Rem okay, he did it. He did it correctly that time. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and throw out Kenrith. Uh, I guess Kenrith. Just in case, you never can be too sure, bro. Never can be too sure. Now we can start bringing our creatures back from the graveyard, which is amazing. We got Diplomat, but we'll stick to the plan. Uh, Enforcer, yeah, indestructible. Put it on, and our opponent quit. <laughs> I, th I think he's seen it. I think he got the point. Our opponent was out of cards, and we were just, oh, we were just gonna bring everything back. So I think that was pretty daggone good on our end. But let's go ahead get into the conclusion and i will give you guys my unbiased opinion about this build let's go all right guys so as you guys seen this build is i okay i kind of hesitate to say amazing like because i mean playing a lot of legendary creatures is a little like narrow you're only gonna have three four creatures out on the battlefield unless your opponent just like lets you play everything but you know it's it's a lot of spot removal a lot of board wipes as we've seen so if you don't have enforcer out if you don't have you know ghost form counters on creatures 
or like just really anything to bring this back it's gonna suck a lot so it's it's really it's good if you can get the right cards when you need it other than that bro you have kaya out i don't think anyone has played kaya like this like everyone's gonna probably put this in an angel uh build or a clerics which is good i'm not saying it's not but it's uh her minus seven ability is made for legendary creatures so this is the best build that you're gonna find out there unless you splash other colors then obviously you can make it you know different a variant you know but i think this is probably as good as it's gonna get so if you guys have any suggestions any comments go ahead and leave it in the comments down below let's have a conversation about this i need to make this build a lot better i might try to rank up with this uh on a live stream uh next week but we'll see all right once again it's your boy black hammer and i will see you guys in the next video peace